Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the weirdest, most out of my comfort zone pedal or piece of gear that's ever been on the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Sonic Cake Wave Crush. Okay guys, so I've been working with a new brand on the channel called Sonic Cake and Sonic Cake hit me up a few weeks ago now and they sent me a bunch of pedals to try out on the channel and show you guys. But before I did that, I checked out their website and I was really intrigued about their pedals. The price points are absolutely fantastic. They're really affordable and lots of their pedals look absolutely great. I'm hoping to get tons more of Sonic Cake pedals on the channel because I like them that much. I've already showed you one Sonic Cake pedal. That was a Sonic Ambience. I use that all the time for leads. It's got reverb and delay in one pedal. The pedal that we're going to be looking at today is the Wave Crush. So for those of you that don't know what this pedal is, I'm going to read exactly what it says on this little nifty card that you get every time you buy a Sonic Kick pedal. It describes what the pedal does. Wave Crush is a three mode bit and sample rate reducer. It features a digital down sampler that can crush your wave. Use it to create a variety of innovative tones. The radio and gramophone modes can stimulate... <laughs> The radio and gramophone modes can simulate realistic vintage lo-fi sounds. Okay, so what that tells me by reading that straight away is that this is going to make me sound like a 1980s arcade video game. Which isn't a bad thing because it takes me back to the days when I had about £3 to take uptown and put in a video arcade game. Uh, and basically it ran out within about 30 minutes. So first of all, before we check out the Sonic Kick Wave Crush, I want to just tell you exactly what I've done here because this is going to be really weird for you guys that are used to seeing me and hearing me on the channel. And it was weird for me when I first plugged into this thing because what happened was I basically started playing differently, you know? And I think pedals like this that are kind of a bit out there, you know, a bit crazy, a bit different from your regular delays and reverbs and things, they do bring you out of your comfort zone and make you play in different ways that you wouldn't usually play. To record this demo, I went from my Charvel Sandima straight into the Sonic Kick Wave Crush and the Wave Crush is just going straight into my interface and straight into my Mac. I basically hit record. I played a riff that sounded like a video game and then I played another riff over the top that sounded even more like a video game. And I used two of the modes on the Sonic Wave Crush. I used the top one, which is radio mode, and I used the middle one, which is normal mode. The leads are on the top one, radio mode, and the rest of the stuff is on the normal mode. Now, what I will say is that, for me personally, you can't escape that video game feel and sound when you use this pedal, or at least I couldn't. I'm pretty sure there's tons of demos out there where people are making different sounds, you know, more unique sounds, more modern sounds. But every time I played anything through this thing, I just ended up sounding like a 1981 video game. Please subscribe and click the bell for more Sonic Cake stuff. I'm hoping to get hold of an overdrive and also the wah pedal. If you stick around till the end of the video, then you will hear me go into this pedal straight into my EVH6L6 Stealth over there. Enjoy the video and I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Thank you.